Hi dear, welcome to my new class on drawing tangents from an external point of a circle without using a cell. You already learned how to draw two tangents from an external point by using center of the circle. Now let us take a question. Here is your question. Draw a circle of radius 2.5 cm. Take a point P outside it. Without using the center of the circle, draw two tangents to the circle from this point P. Let us see how to draw it. First, draw a circle of radius 2.5 cm. So take 2.5 cm on your scale or roller. Draw a circle. Let me draw a circle of radius 2.5 cm. Now take a point P outside the circle. Let, let this point be P. Now what you have to do is draw a secant through P. That is a for secant, let it be PAB is a secant length. Now what you have to do is produce BP and take a point C on it such that PA is equal to PB. Now take a point C in this way. So this point will be C. That is PA is equal to PC. Now you have to draw a semicircle with the diameter BC. For that you need to know the center. To get the center, draw the perpendicular bisector of BC. So with the center C more than half of BC as radius, draw two arcs on both sides of BC. Now with the center B, same radius, intersect the arc of previous step. So now join these intersecting points, you will get the perpendicular bisector. So this is the perpendicular bisector. Let it meet BC at K. Now, with the K as center, radius KB draw a semicircle. Here is your semicircle. Now what you have to do is draw a perpendicular through P. For that, with the center P, draw an arc to intersect that arc in two points. Now more than half of this distance has radius and this intersecting point is center. Draw an arc with the same radius and this intersecting point is center draw another arc. Now join P to that intersecting point. Now let this perpendicular meet the semicircle at N. Now with the center P, Pn as radius draw two arcs to intersect the given circle at Q and R. Now join PQ and PR. PQ and PR are the required tangents. Now let us see how it becomes a tangent. Let O be the center of the circle. 
and if join oq if oq is perpendicular to pq you can say pq is the tangent because tangent is perpendicular to its radius how can you prove angle oqp is right angle for that join po now you will get a triangle pqo now if you can prove po square is equal to oq square plus pq square by converse of pythagoras theorem oqp is a right angle for proving this let me take this radius oq as r and the length pa let me take it as x so pc is also will be x that is oq is equal to r and pa is equal to pc is equal to x now let me draw a perpendicular from o to a let it be m that means let oem is equal to length of oem is equal to a now you know that here pn and pq are equal by construction so first let me find out the length of pn for that let me join k now triangle n p k is a right angle triangle here you can see k is the midpoint of bc so kc is equal to k both are ready now how will you get the length of kc kc you know that it is equivalent to bc by 2 kc you can write it as bc by 2 now what is bc bc is cp plus pa plus ab now let me take the length of ab is equal to y that is this is equal to y length of ab you can take it as y then it is divided by 2 that is x plus x plus y by 2 that is 2x plus y by 2 or we can write it is equal to x plus y by 2 so length of kc is equal to x plus y by 2 so k you can write it as k is equal to x plus y by 2 how will you get the length of kp yes it is kc minus pc that is kc you got it as it, which is equal to x plus y by 2 minus pc you know it is x so it is y by 2 now according to Pythagoras theorem pn square you can take it as kn square minus pk square that is kn square means x plus y by 2 the whole square minus pk square you got this y by 2 the whole square which is equal to x square plus 2 into x into y by 2 is xy plus y by 2 whole square is y square by 4 minus y square by 4 so you got it as x square plus xy this is the length of pn square so you can write pq square also same as pq square also same as x square plus xy now let me find out the radius oq oq is equivalent to 
oil. Now you can see a right angle triangle AMO. Here AM is equal to Y by 2 because a perpendicular from the center bisect the core. You took AB as Y, so AM is Y by 2. So AO square, AO is equal to O cube, that is R square, you can write it as AM square, AM square means Y by 2 the whole square plus OM square which is A square that is Y square by 4 plus A square. Now how will you find out OP square? OP square is equal to PM square plus M O square or OM square. What is the length PM? PM is equal to PA plus A. That is PA we took it as X. AM is Y by 2. So X plus Y by 2 the whole square plus MO square. MO square means A square. That is X plus Y by 2 means X square plus 2 into X into Y by 2 means XY plus Y by 2 the whole square means y square by 4 plus a square. But what is y square by 4 plus a square? That you can take it as r square. y square plus 4 by a square which is equal to r square. So op square you can write it as x square plus xy plus r square. You know pq square. PQ square we took it as PN square that is X square plus X1 and OQ square that is equal to R square. Then what is PQ square plus OQ square that is X square plus XY plus R square. So X square plus XY plus R square. What is x square plus xy plus r square? That you can see here as x square plus xy plus r square which is equal to op square. So that is here you can see pq square plus oq square which is equal to op square. That means triangle pqo is a right angled triangle where Q is a right angle by converse of Pythagoras theorem. If that angle is 90 degree, that means OQP is 90 degree, you can say PQ is a tangent because tangent is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. So, length of PQ is a tangent. This is the justification for how PQ becomes the tangent. That's all for today's class. Have a nice day.